Late, always running late, always running late, always running late. Did I press go? I did press go. Well, you guys hold on till I get this thing working. Okie dokie, artichoke. I don't like my hair. <clears throat> I don't like it not one bit. And I'm about to talk real quick through this because I'm running late, I'm running late, I'm running late. We're at 11 months. All right. And before I continue with this whole rant as to why I don't like my hair, let me just say that I am happy that I don't like my hair. Not liking my hair is good. It means that my hair is changing. It means that my hair is evolving. It means that my hair is growing in this journey. That's a good thing. Okay. However, I don't like it. I'm borderline hate it. I know hate's a strong word. I borderline hate it. You know, just, you know, I'm starting, I'm experiencing a lot of me hating a lot of things in life. Let's play Dear Diary. Dear Nappy Thoughts Diary. I, Nappy Thoughts, hate my job, although I really like the kids. I hate my apartment, although I really like the neighborhood. I hate my boyfriend, although... Mm, mm, I really hate my boyfriend, although... Mm hmm. Anyway, yeah. Maybe it's just the change of seasons. I, I, yeah. Let's blame it on the change of seasons. But no. I don't like my hair. Okay, so... We had a cute summer with the hair, you know. The whole journey has been kind of cute up until this point. I realized, and looking into past videos, the whole kind of journey was kind of cute. I was crying for ugly, I was crying for shrinkage, but I was enjoying the cuteness. I ain't even going front, okay? And I did my hair an injustice over the summer, and ugly got pissed off at me and bounced, gave the deuces, because he said I was doing too much, and he's, he's right. You know, I, I did way too much retwisting than I, I originally anticipated coming into the summer. I was throwing in bent bodies all the time, pipe cleaners, yada yada. He was like, deuces ho, I'm out. Alright, so I was like, bye. So then I, re I decided that I was going to lash my hair. And this was like, what, going on two months ago I decided to lash my hair. And, you know, as I'm latching and I'm going in, doing the four-point rotation to every single lock, I was like, yo. You're tripping. You're doing way too much. You need to chill. Like, I never really gave my hair time to chill. Only time my hair really chilled was when I first started it up until spring when I was just tucking it under hats. All right. So after I latched my hair, I made the commitment to myself that I'm not going to retwist, latch, any type of maintenance. Sorry. Dang. Until... well into the new year all right and i'm even not trying to put in no bantu ballies i'm trying to stay away from manipulating my hair styling my hair whatever i just want my hair to f and b i just want my hair a chance to breathe and flourish and just puff up i mean i really i want i really want to see some some nap thitty nap 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 roots like i just want my hair to be so f and thick and nappy up in there till y'all can't even see nothing no parts and nothing like that that's what i'm after so, you know, when Ugly heard that, you know, nappy. Yes, Ugly. Can I come back on in? Yes, you can, boo. Yes, you can. So, Ugly's up in the cribs. Ugly's up in the place to be. Okay. Kicking his feet up. Enjoying a ride. He's happy. And I'm not. So, um, you know, without me being able to put some Bantu Bollies in, I don't have no kick, and the hair just is womp, womp, womp. And then with me constantly just either pinning it, which is what I do, I pin or wrap it. I put it in a Badu wrap, or I pin it like this, and I'm out the door. Alright? And without those Bantu Bollies to give me a little bit of kick, I can't do any, really, I can't do any real stylings, any real styles. All right, the hair, when I take it out of here, it's like, it's all over the place. I don't like it. I don't like my hair. And the funny thing is, I was watching a video by Beauty Within Sherry. Hey, girl. She was complimenting um, the confidence that I had with my locks. And yes, I have to admit, the locks did mysteriously creep on in there and change the inside of nappy. All right, nappy socks. 
it did that. I don't know how and I wasn't expecting it to really because I felt like I already had a sense of confidence, you know. Sorry. See, I don't like this apartment. It makes too many noises. I mean, I like this apartment. I do, but I don't. Let me tell y'all the story about when I first moved in here, though, yo. Halloween, here we go. All right, so I have one of those touch lamps, all right? The ones that you have to touch one, two, three times to get it to its maximum intensity. Mind you, this, this touch lamp was like high. It was all like a, a wardrobe thingy in my room. And it was high, well out of reach, all right? So one night, I decided to go to sleep in my room, all right? I like to sleep with the lights off, no TV, no nan nutta, all right? Why I wake up the next morning and the touch lamp was on to its maximum intensity. All right. So, you know, I kind of brushed it off as, all right, well, maybe I was sleepwalking. Yeah, I was sleepwalking. I, I think I remember turning it on and just forgot to turn it off at night. Okay. A week later, a week later. All right. I decided I wanted to go to sleep again. Mind you, ever since that first incident, I always made sure that that light was off, okay? While well, I wake up the next morning, and again, the touch lamp was on its maximum intensity. You know what I did, y'all? Do you want to know what I did? I lifted the window, I unplugged the touch lamp, and I dropped it out the window. And then I came in with some sage, burning some sage in my apartment, like, I'm not playing that. Any of y'all negative spirits up in here, y'all can get the F up out of here because that's not what I'm about. So, yeah. I mean, I love my apartment, but I'm hating it right now. I love my hair, but I'm hating it right now. Oh, yeah, I went off on a tangent. Sorry. Yeah, Beauty Within Sherry. Yeah, thank you, girl. I mean, it does, the locks really do give you a sense of confidence. It, it did that to me. I, I like to think that my confidence level is already pretty high with myself, you know. I never really, I don't really have self-esteem issues or none of that stuff. I don't know. But the locks did kind of creep in there and make, make me feel a little bit more proud to be in my skin. I don't even really know how to explain it. My hair can be flying which way, that way, anyway. And I'm still walking down the street like... Say what? Huh? Yes, I'm. I love me. Hmm. You know, it just it makes me feel very, very confident. That style did do that to me. Yes. So I mean, I'm not gonna get. I'm not. The locks aren't going anywhere. It's just. It's just a change of season. Yeah, yeah. It's just a change of season. I'm having to constantly tell myself to relax, regroup yourself, and everything will pass in due time. Okay. But I just thought I would share that with y'all. And I'll be back with some more fun stuff. And I do want to do an 11-month update. This is not an 11-month update. This is an 11-month I don't like my hair.